I, I cannot, uh, I can't believe all of the misinformation there is about transcendental meditation. First of all, is it a religion? It's not a religion. It has nothing to do with no, religion. No, it's nothing to do with religion. Only it enriches life. It makes life better. Whether he is a physicist or a chemist or an astrologer or a religious man. In every phase of life, when the stresses are released, the man becomes better. Uh, a religious it, it, man becomes a better religious man. He finds meaning in his religion. With his own denomination, with, with his, his own, own denomination. church. Right. And by now, all religious people, religious people of all different denominations are practicing transcendental meditation. And there is no complaint from any section of religion about it. The other thing, most people are confused and think that it's some kind of personal hypnosis. <laughs> it's not hypnosis. It's a very real transformation of the mind with the body, physiology. Yeah, hundreds of experiments have been performed to show that the nervous system begins to function in a more coherent manner. The brain waves become more orderly and the thinking becomes more orderly. So orderly thinking leading to orderly action improves the behavior of the person and improves their environment. How many people are meditating? In the world today, about, about a million, huh? more than 900,000. Say about a million people meditating. How many teachers do you have? Little more than 8,000 teachers by now. And what we have in, in this time when we're inaugurating the dawn of the age of enlightenment, 360 cities where 1% of the people are practicing transcendental meditation.